well hello internet this is ajay here and welcome back to the brand new video on this channel so let me guess you are a student who is looking for an internship or maybe you are a fresher who is looking for a job to start with the most difficult part in that is to craft a good resume but that should not be the hard thing right because if you go on internet there are hundreds if not thousands of videos on internet to show you exactly how to craft a perfect resume so what's stopping you behind well i know that because i was in the same situation last year when i had no clue on what to put in my resume because as a fresher we don't have much things to put in right but what if i tell you that even if you think that you don't have much things to put in your resume you still do and that's what this video is all about while these might not be the best resumes out there but they are the top ones which you can make as a fresher so without wasting any further time let's get straight into our video okay so before starting the video i'll urge you to make your resume alongside with me and if that is not possible at least take notes on your phone or your notebook so that you'll not forget anything and this will not be just another video on the internet you which you watched and forgot so let's start with selecting a template for our resume first and for that you have two options either you can go to canva uh, canva.com is a like genuine site which i prefer and here you just go here and search for resume templates and you'll get some free and paid as well you have plenty of free options from which you can choose another option is microsoft word so if you don't want to hustle upon hundreds of thousands of designs you can just go to microsoft word and select cvs under the templates you can select this one the first one which is very ats friendly and typically used in industry so these are the two options now there are few things that you need to consider while selecting a template that you should not have any kind of graphical things on your resume i'll show you an example your resume should not consist these kind of bar graphs or these kind of icons on it this is because the ats will not interpret it correctly because ats mainly works with text so it might reduce your score and readability the another thing is you should not have a profile pic which is something like this because it is not so professional and if you want to have a profile pic it should be something like this where you will have a clear headshot and a plain background but it's okay if you don't even uh, include your profile pic in to a resume it's not a compulsion at all also try not to use these kind of templates where you have a column layout because as far as i have researched it's not so good and not so ats friendly because ats reads text line by line and this kind of layout is more preferable if you are looking for a professional resume where you have everything in single lines not in the columns so keep this in mind so if you don't want to invest your time in searching for templates over canva or even a word you can go with the template which i'll provide you in the description and this is a typical template which which is ats friendly as well and you can use it it is simple and you can download this from the description and i'll show you exactly what to put in each section so let's start with that okay so first thing you'll see is the header and header should have your name your phone number email location and your linkedin profile link the online portfolio or a website is optional thing because not everyone has it so instead you can just give your linkedin profile link so let's customize it let's put in your name over here and remember just your first name and last name is enough Uh, no need to put in your middle name so next thing is your phone number now you can give your country code or you can skip it so i'll just write a number over here and then it's your email address so then it comes your location so location should be in this format like city state and your pin code so my city is pune state is maharashtra and pin code is 411061 so now here you have to paste your linkedin profile so we'll just write it like this over here linkedin and your username so it's mostly ranjit in my case now to create a clickable link just go to your browser where you are logged into linkedin share it is and just copy this link just copy it and select the text hit right click and you'll see a option called add link so just paste it over here 
and that's it okay so the next part is your professional summary so to write a summary you don't need to just write it yourself you can just go to chat gpt and you can just ask him give me a template for for professional summary which will be used in my resume keep it short and crisp so this will give you a template which you can put your details in and okay one more thing you need to tell is i'm a fresher so write accordingly because that one was more of a experienced person summary so we don't need that so this is the thing you need so just copy it and paste it into your resume Okay, so if we go through this, it says motivated and detail oriented recent graduate with strong foundation in. So now here you'll need to include the primary skill which you have. Like I had web development, so I'll write web development in it. Then you have, let's say, cloud computing. So that kind of things you can write over here. And if you want more detailed summary about yourself, you can just give more details to chat gpt like what you do what your expertise are what type of degree you have done what subjects you have studied so with all those details it will be more personalized but this is the way you write your summary over here so in experience section the ones like us who are fresher will write the projects and what they have worked on so far so that will be considered as experience because you are fresher so let's do it so first you'll have to add your title the project name then you'll have to give the start date and end date this is again the optional thing which if you worked at a company then the start date and end date matters but for projects it's not compulsory so we'll just remove it as well in the company name and location you can just write your tech stack and this is the formula by which you write your bullet points on the work you have done so it will consist like an action verb then what you did then reason and the outcome so this is the way you should follow and it's easy to read as well first write down all the things you have done in your project somewhere and then just copy that i'll copy the ones i have written and i'll come to chat gpt I'll paste those things over here and then I'll say convert this into this format. So that's what you'll do. You'll just write down your all the stuff you have done so far and then you'll just copy it, paste it to chat GPT, then copy this format and ask him to convert in this format. So here you go. You have this desired output over here. You will just copy it, copy and paste it. Again, the second thing, copy it and paste it. Then the third thing, copy and paste. So see, you should have got idea that how easy it is to write these uh, these kind of content using chat GPT and it's more accurate too with no typos and no grammatical mistakes. So let's give a title what the project was. So my project was a portfolio website. So I'll write it down. Then the tech stack, HTML, Tailwind, CSS, JavaScript, PHP and MySQL. Okay. So here you have your fir first experience. So let's move on to the next project. So next project was Etsy and it was a food delivering website. Uh, you should keep your first first characters capital just because it is a title. And then here the text track was React, JS, no JS, MongoDB and Terrigan. Okay. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll write it down what we have done in the project in normal words, in the words we understand. And then we'll copy those words and we'll give it to chat GPT. And we'll say, just do the same. So we'll just copy it. Okay. So we are done with this. Then now we have two things in our experience section. Okay. So the next section is skills. This is again one of the most important part of your resume because this is what recruiter needs to know and you should include only relevant skills over here because in the interview even if you pass with the ATS and screening but in the interview you'll sit in front of the interviewer and 
he will go through each of the skill and he will get as much as deep into it and you should know what you have written over here at least you should have a basic understanding of it if not the whole and soul so write your skills accordingly and i would suggest not to bluntly fake anything or just write it down for the sake of writing so i'll just write down the skills i had in my time now once you have added all your skills in here let's make sure that you also include these kind of things like object oriented programming functional programming dbms rdbms even i missed that but you should write rdbms instead of dbms and then software development life cycle because these these are the things which they expect from fresher because these are computer fundamentals and you should know what is object oriented programming what are the pillars of it and what is functional programming how rdbms works and what is the software development life cycles different kind of models and everything so you should have all the theoretical knowledge and understanding of all these fundamental computer science concepts so make sure to include these as well along with all your core skills the next part is the education section so i would say that in education section you should only add two of your recent educations so if it is masters and graduation then it should be masters and graduation only if it is graduation and 12th so it will be graduation and 12th will write degree type as bachelor's and the major was computer application in your case it might be btech and then computer science so and this is if applicable we'll remove this thing yeah we need to include a completion date over here if it is completed or if it is still ongoing so we'll just add it right in front of the course name in bracket you can just add a year over here if you are done with it or you can add present and an institution name it will be your college name or university name whatever you prefer okay then i'll just copy it and i'll paste it around then i'll write uh, my second qualification one more thing which you can add over here is your percentage so sure i can add cgpa as 7.93 and here i can write percentage as 77.17 okay so this this is the thing you need in your education section and don't add the your 10th and everything because that's uh, they don't care about it they just need your recent education in it then you if you have done any certification i'll say you should add here only if that certification has some value to it because in our college they forced us to do some certifications but those certifications were pre one and not so valuable so i had no certifications in my resume but if you have done something like let's say a cloud you have official as your certification or you have certification in microsoft x excel so you can add it over here then we have our last but not the least section which is awards and recognitions or the volunteer work which you might be pursuing like in my case i i was like me and my team was running coding club which was a club at our college so we coordinated that managed multiple events in it and so that kind of stuff so i i can mention that over here yeah that's that's pretty much uh, what you can mention in the awards and recognitions so now we are done with almost everything and you can see that our resume actually looks good so now there are a few minor things that everyone should notice and everyone should correct that your resume should also look good if the content is good but the formatting is not so good it will not be as impressive as the one with good formatting in front of the hr so what we'll do is we'll justify all the content so if we will not have this uneven spaces okay if you see it looks much better than the previous one so here we go then you should not have any typos in it as i don't have it but yeah even if you have you could see the red marks over here but you can ignore these ones because these are not the actual words so that's why it's showing up in red but yeah that's that's pretty much it what you need in your resume as a fresher you can add maybe a space over here just to make sure that everything is differentiated and easy to read i have talked to many like hrs in my company as well and some other in my network but they told me the same thing that 
we don't expect a freshers resume to have something like very extraordinary and out of the planet but it should be subtle neat clean and to the point and it should have all the basic details like a summary short summary about uh, him or herself and then short summary on the work they have done the skills they are good at and their education certifications and rewards that's all they need to know nothing else nothing like what what kind of hobbies do you have and that kind of stuff right because we are not living in 90s these days you know about the competition and they have to go through like thousands of resumes for single position and they don't they don't want to know your hobbies or anything that you just give your relevant skills in it and they'll decide that whether they have to go with it or not okay then few last things but not the least how will you check your actual ats score so i tried out different websites like multiple websites but each one gives different score because each ats has some different pattern of reading out your resume so what is the best idea is go to chat gpt upload your resume and ask him score this resume as if you are ats and it will give you exactly what score your resume stands at and it will tell you why it stands at that and it will also tell you the improvements which you can do and you can iterate through that process that way you can just make your resume near to like 85 to 90 but i would say any resume with ats score over 80 is good as into a top resume is already but you should always aim for higher okay so that's it for this video and i hope you guys learned a lot and you are now capable of crafting your own resume so if this video helped you you can like share and subscribe to this channel and if you want to get more of such content you can just turn on the bell icon so that you'll get notified whenever a new video is uploaded on the channel so i'll catch you in the next video and till then adios amigos